Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. Today with a bit of drama that popped off over the weekend, and I was waiting to see if Wargaming was ever going to say anything about it or address it, but so far, as of the recording of this video at about 3.30 in the afternoon on this Wednesday evening, nothing has been said from Wargaming directly so far, at least nothing that I can find readily available at least so if you don't know and i'm pretty sure a good bit of you guys have seen this bit of news already wargaming finally filled in that community manager slot or one of the community manager slots that opened up i believe they started popping open a little bit after the, all the drama went down around uh, august of last year with a new fellow by the name of conception and it was discovered that in the man's Twitter, where he does tout that he is now a North America community manager for World of Warships, he also has a couple of other tidbits in his bio, including BLM, a movement that many people are behind currently, and ACAB. Now, these are, of course, political opinions that this is the United States of America. Everyone is free to share their opinion and one that I'm always asking you guys to hear. And when it comes to differing opinions, I've said many times, and I will continue to say that it's all nice that we all have different opinions. If not, the world would be a very, very, very boring place. And we are going to stay away from the more political side of this. We're just looking at this from the side of a game community manager. So if you don't know, uh, ACAB stands for All Cops Are Bastards. A phrase that is commonly associated with, um, well, and of course having a phrase that's as loaded as that, I would say police reform sentiment, but I would say that all cops are bastards is more of anti-police sentiment. And this is a man who is a community manager for the North American server. If you don't know, there is a very large part of the community that are uh, either a combination of law enforcement military, former military, currently active law enforcement, so forth and so on. And it's a sizable chunk of the player base, not only for World of Warships, but also World of Tanks. And obviously having a polarizing statement like that in your Twitter bio, bio being the new community manager for North America, um, that is going to turn some heads, and it certainly has. Uh, the original thread on the World of Warship subreddit has subsequently been locked because the communications down there or, well, something. And I'll post the original post up here to give the original poster their due credit. So there's a couple of things to break down here. Like I said, we're not going into, into the political side of things, but there's certainly something to be said for the willingness to hire somebody that is going to have to act on the behalf of the community as a whole with such polarizing takes in their bio. And th this doesn't obviously look very good. Again, obviously, it's a free country, people can express their opinions, but normally positions of management, at least in a professional way, like on this guy's Twitter that is named after his username, which he goes by for the community manager position and such. Um, in this regards, many managerial positions, social media accounts are supposed to be, of course, as neutral as possible when it comes to politics. Of course, that's changing a lot recently with the way that things are headed, but that's another story for another time for another channel that covers politics and not World of Warships. So... Yeah, that's that's not the best look Wargaming, and I'm not sure if Wargaming was sure of this and was okay with him having that in his bio. Well, actually, I would say probably not, because his bio has since been changed to where, rather than has a cab and BLM and all that jazz in there, it just says, all statements and opinions are of myself and do not reflect my employers. Something that he probably should have led with before obviously taking this job um if you if you don't know anytime you go into any time a professional field and I, i'm a teacher and we got this talk too uh we were not told but suggested that we should probably clean up our social media and such from any 
hardline political takes one way or the other because of course being something like a, a teacher some someone who's going to be in the public eye and in your community's eye especially if you teach in the same place where you live you don't want to have to deal with that mess one way or another so i would imagine someone who's applying for a community manager position would have the two cents to do that as well so it looks like Wargaming had to talk with him, and he changed his his bio and such. So that's been changed, but I mean, the, the, the news is out there. And like I said before, many of you probably have heard this already. But what you may not have heard is something that's, I would say, around the same size of an issue. So this man is now a community manager for Wood Warships. And he has to go about, of course, representing the community, communi communicating with the community about the game, in-game mechanics, ships, ship stats, ship playstyles and stuff. Would anyone like now to take a guess as to how many battles this man has in World Warships? I'll give you a couple of seconds. We call this wait time in the teaching world. Alright, time's up. If you said 500 games... You are incorrect. If you said 1,000 games, you are incorrect. If you said, at the time of recording, at the time of me taking this screenshot, 127 games, you would be correct. And only 6 of them have been recently. 26 have been in the last 7 days, and 31 in the last 21 days to a month. So, the man's supposed to be a community manager with, I'd say barely even a baseline understanding of how the game works so yeah now i get that you know people aren't exactly right now lining up to be wargaming um community managers or anything but a guy with 127 battles played um, if you're curious, he appears to be going up the American Battleship line. A wonderful line for new players, of course, and one that I would encourage him to continue to play. It does give you a nice, solid understanding of how battleships are meant to be played. And the line is especially forgiving once you get to the Colorado and you can get the improved American Battleship hill there. But, like, really, a community manager with under 200 battles played. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's that's something, all right. Uh, again, this is someone that has to have a very, very firm, a, well, a, a position that you would think needs a very, very, very firm understanding of how the game works, the mechanics in the game, because how in the world are you going to communicate with the community and, I don't know, moderate the forums, or if an argument about this or that or, or whatever, if you don't have a good understanding of how the game works or, I mean... That, that, that just blows my mind that they'd hire someone with as little battles as that. And I, I'm not saying, you know, he's a bad person for this. He's not the one that gave himself the job or anything. You know, he applied for the job and Wargaming accepted him. And I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he never touched the game before this, like, at all. Because, I mean, 127 battles, that's... Shoot, um, well, I would say someone like me, but that, that's someone like me who does this as a, a almost a second job at this point. That's a week, a week and a well, shoot, dur during the, the summer when I, I'm not teaching, that that's a couple of days, really, um, especially depending upon what I got going on. But yeah, that's just that 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 blows my mind, especially, and why I say it's it's just about. As big of an issue as the BLM ACAB tags in his bio, which have at least been removed. And, well, if you look at when this post, which was originally made a few days ago, apparently he had under 100 battles on his account. And he's at least working on, on his way up, at least at this point. Now, granted, I don't know if this is his personal account that he made. I just typed in his username, which is also in, in his uh, Twitter header there. And he could have a, a different account with, like, Wargaming. Maybe he's, he's, been, he's been playing on a press account before this. Um, and this is just, like, his personal account that he maybe got introduced in, into the game on, played it for some time, and then 
Maybe when he got hired, they hand him a press account, and he's been playing more in there. I don't know. It's just the one that lines up with his name. Either way, I'm sure we'll see this man on a stream sometime soon. And given the um, fiasco around this, this should be a very interesting stream for this man here. So guys, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Um, again, for me, it just shows that Wargaming really, I don't know, is desperate for community managers one way or another. But just let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday and a wonderful second week of 2022. And hope if you're in this insane winter weather that we're having, you're staying nice and warm and safe. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Hope we catch you guys in the next one.